Hello all, welcome back to Uncommon Geeks. Myself Vasant, I hope you all doing well. So today's topic, as you already know, we are discussing a uh, custom implementation. And then in this video, I will not be writing custom implementation for any built-in method. Rather, I would say how a programming constraint like array, string, function, class, they get access to JavaScript's built-in methods. Okay, and how to add any custom method into this existing list so that you get a fair understanding about how to start with the custom implementation. This video is very, very important. Unless you know these concepts, you will not be able to write a custom implementation of your own. Okay, so do not skip this. Watch this video till the end. Okay, as you already know, I'm making a lot of videos on the front end developer interviews. I made one detailed playlist with 21 videos, uh, 20 plus videos on the uh, uh, most common interview questions on JavaScript. And I'm making this another series where I'm explaining you the concepts of custom implementation. If you like whatever the work that I'm doing, please do like this video, share the content with uh, your friends. Do not forget to subscribe to Uncommon Geeks. Okay, now let's get started with the most basic concept, how a particular programming constraint is getting access to the built-in methods. Okay, so this is my medium uh, URL, mevasanth.medium.com. Okay, so where I've explained you a lot of various articles I've written on different topics. Okay, my purpose of coming taking this um, media opening medium blog is because you need to know two very important topics that is how everything is object in javascript and prototype and prototypal inheritance in javascript these two are the very fundamental topics for you to understand how built-in functions are accessible for a particular programming constraint for example let me zoom in a bit okay and okay, I, I zoomed in too much let's say i create a variable called array and i am initializing it with one two three four okay and i'm hitting enter and whenever i do array dot i start seeing lot of methods concat find last for each has one property some sort splice etc so you created just a variable called array with one two three four how come all these methods and the properties are accessible to this variable okay so that is the first question that you need to get an answer Okay, before starting writing any custom implementation. So that I have explained here how everything is object in JavaScript. Please read these two articles very much in detail. I link that in somewhere in the description. Okay, I cannot go through each and everything of every bit of it due to time constraint. Okay, now same example I have given here. So the answer to my question, how these programming constraints are getting access to the different method is all JavaScript programming constraints inherit properties and methods from a prototype okay so in our example see whenever you do array dot and uh, whenever you do array dot you are seeing different methods of array correct so if i say let s equals to uncommon geeks okay and if i do s dot you start seeing different methods of a string and not of an array okay this is happening because there are different prototypes that exist in um, JavaScript that contains different methods associated with a particular programming constraint like array there are different methods string there are different methods and different uh, constraints have different methods so those are part of that prototype for example if I now type array dot prototype okay so you would see lot of methods whatever you saw for this array okay whenever you do array dot whatever the method suggested here and whatever this prototype contains, both are same. Putting other way, JavaScript, when it understands this variable is of array type, it will get all the methods from array prototype and attaches it to this variable with a property called array dot underscore underscore proto. Okay, so this proto is responsible for attaching all the array methods into the variable called array. Okay, so why dot underscore underscore proto dot proto underscore underscore only very few people will get this uh, question most will not get so whatever person is explaining that is right. Yes, what I am explaining is right, but you should keep asking question why only underscore underscore proto and not anything else. Uh, I have read about it. There is nothing significant reason uh, the, purpose, the reason why it is underscore underscore proto is because this cannot be generally used for any other purpose. I mean, this is not a typical programming convention in JavaScript. So kind of a, this they are using as a reserved keyword underscore underscore proto underscore, underscore. I mean, you can use it for any other purpose also, but usually any nobody will be using this. That is the reason they're using this, this way of using it. Okay. So hope now you understood how array is getting ARR variable 
I have created here is getting access to the array methods. Okay, because JavaScript is identifying this ARR variable of a array type, then it is going to array dot prototype, getting all the methods of array dot prototype, and attaching that into this array variable with a keyword called underscore 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 proto. Okay, now you got how methods are already existing. If you have to attach a new method into this prototype, it's very straightforward. So let us consider the same example array dot prototype. Okay, I'm writing a method called test method. Okay, test method in JavaScript, as you know, first character is small. So what I'm doing here is I'm writing a function that does nothing other than just logging something. Console dot log. Console dot log. I think my syntax is right. See, oh no, I'm sorry. Console dot log. I'm sorry. Con Console dot log. Welcome to uncommon geeks. Okay, so what I am doing is array dot prototype as you know contains all the methods. Dot I am adding a new method and that method definition I am writing here, which is a function which does nothing other than just printing a statement. Okay, welcome to uncommon geeks. That is my channel. Please do subscribe. Okay, and if I hit enter, so it went successful. Okay, now if I go to Elements and console, and here if I start seeing this again, array dot, okay, prototype, and if I hit enter, see, along with all the built-in methods, now I also have access to a new method that I created, which is test method. Now, from array one, array, a variable that I created above, one, two, three, four, I am, I can access this variable that is test method, okay. If I hit enter. I see welcome to uncommon geeks. Okay, so this is undefined because there are two things here. One, this test method function doesn't return anything. So return value is undefined. Whenever you invoke it, it is printing something. So that has also been printed here. Okay, so now you got to know how to add a custom method into existing list of prototype methods. This is a very key aspect of custom implementation. If you master this, now on all you have to do is let's say you have to write a custom implementation for concat. So now you can write a method called my concat, and you know how to invoke that from an existing array. Correct. Now all you have to know is how to get a reference or how to perform that concat operation inside this function. So 50% of your implementation is done. Next 50% is logical part. Okay, that I'll be explaining for a different methods in a different way. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please do like it on my YouTube channel. Do not forget to subscribe to Uncommon Geeks and please read my Medium blogs and follow me on Medium. Also, I'll be writing interesting articles on a weekly basis. Okay, thank you again for watching this video. Catch you in my next video.